we are here with Eden TV. We been touring various corridors of roads in Nima County, Ibong, as well as Lofa County. So the team that is led by my roof Coco Collins, the Public Works Minister, and just inspected ongoing pavement works along the Banga Salaye Road project. So we will turn to the technician for briefing to tell us how far they've gone with the pavement works. And so a full house is here, I see Deputy Minister for Technical Services, uh, Honorable Amos Wa Barclay. We also have a representative from the consultant. Then Mr. Emmanuel Baker is also here. And of course, uh, the Honorable Minister of Public Works. Welcome to the Dosot. Now tell us, we you just told uh, the, this corridor, you care to give us some technical updates? I'm Engineer Memona Kumbajalo, and I'm the resident engineer for Saudi Consulting Services, or the consultant. And with me, I have the materials engineer and the geodetic engineer, and from TSC Young Engineers, Bit of Works, Materials, Bit of Works, Civil, and our AutoCAD technician. I would love you to walk us through um, as to what progress you're making so far on this on this corridor. Yeah, it's tremendous. Uh, it's a pity we were not able to get to the end of the project. Um, like for the clearing works, I would say they are like uh, ninety nine percent up to salary, and for the hard works, they are about seventy percent completion. Then we have the the saw base, as you saw where we, we stopped just now, will be say about 60%. Then we have the, this asphalt, they've done 50% of it. So yes, we have to jump because we have some other works to do. Like for the bridges, they're supposed to be something called an approach slabs to each of those bridges. So we have to jump, as you notice on the way. And for the culvert works, I will say we've done all except one box culvert, which is now under construction. They have done the preparatory works like the excavation, and they're trying to do the other um, form works to start that culvert. That's the only one left now of all the 157 culverts they're supposed to do. And other works we're supposed to do with common after this was after this um, pavement works like the fixing of the curbs and we have something they call shoots for those high field areas where we have to have guardrails they have to do some shoots to take the water down the embankment and they have to do like grassing plant grassing on some of those high embankments now next month they're supposed to start the nursing of those plants so they can put on the embankment to protect just the slopes people are eager they want to make uh, massive use of the road they want to ply the road and you mentioned you've done like 50 percent of pavement uh with the effort the asphalt, yeah. great so uh what length does that 50 percent represent uh 47 kilometers because the road is like 80 kilometers so approximately 47 kilometers well, how will you describe the works that you're doing beyond the lofa bridge portion well, like, as now, we estimate we've done about more than 70% of the works. So, uh, the rate at which we are going, the momentum the, the contractor has taken now, mm -hmm. I'm sure, I'm sure, by July, we will get to, we will get to Salaye, with the exception of the bridges. Because, like I said, all of those bridges, we have to give them approach slabs. And knowing that we don't have even details as we are consulting the road now, to consult approach last means we have to do them in stages here, maybe one lane before we do the other. So that will maybe get us into the DLP. That's why I was, I'm saying possibly, I would say, 80 kilometers. Because I'm just estimating with all those gaps we are living now, it might take us another like five kilometers. Of all, the, of all the works that you've done, um, how much time do we have and how long would it take us for us to say, okay, we're getting to the end now? The cash flow, as we are getting to it now, the cash flow is there. We can be able to push them to even get the 95% to July. To July? Yeah. Okay. And my name is Emmanuel Baker and I'm the program manager of the infrastructure implementation unit. 
and the unit is charged with implementing this project on behalf of the government of Liberia. Uh, this is a project that uh, has been spoken about across the country, but especially from the people of Lofa. Let's uh, walk us through from the Ministry of Public Works standpoint as to ongoing works on this project. So very good. You listen to the statistics being provided mm -hmm. by the direct representative of the uh, ministry on the site, that is South Council. You listen to what the uh, <coughs> resident engineer indicated. So uh, from the ministry perspective, we see a huge jump since the last visitation in November. As at November, we're somewhere around an overall of around 57%. Now today, given what the consultant has indicated and what we have seen on site, we've gone up to 70% completion of all of the works. Now she grouped everything in terms of the overall, which gave 70%. But I know the layman's uh, attention is normally drawn to the paved section of, course. You know, of the road. And you, you did mention that a greater length of the 45 kilometers on the bunk side uh, has largely been completed except for the gaps that you see so that could be put uh, closely around uh, pretty close to 40 kilometers because the camp itself is situated around very close to 45 44 kilometers and we've seen all that section paved let's talk a little bit about the next section which is the one in lofa uh, the works have extended all the way up to kilometer 64 sub base has gone up to 60%, whereas the overall length of pav pavement has gone up to around 45, 46 uh, kilometers out of the total, uh, based on the recent uh, statistics. And we see that with the 60% of sub base, you travel along the gravel section, that represents the next, the finishing of a layer that will bring in the next layer, which is the cross stone base, or the base course. So with that, we see the around 16 kilometers or thereabout uh, already prepared in sub base. And within the next few weeks, we can have a custom base place. And following that, we can have up to the uh, surfacing done in asphalt. This will push the entire work tremendously to having something like 60 kilometers out of 20 kilometers paved. So we have all confidence <coughs> in the, in the uh, uh, estimation provided by the consultant here today that come july there will be around salary and to appreciate the work that will be done you only have gaps around where you have uh, bridges for the sole reason of uh, uh, putting in what you call the approach slabs to those bridges and things and there will also be uh, there will also be a lot interior works maybe they will be correcting the slopes they will be grassing they will be marking the pavement and all of those things now for this to happen you must also have cash flow and cash flow has now been supplied to the project this is one reason why what which we can attribute to this quick jump between november last year and the progress made thus far today all of the partners of course are on board i'm sure the minister will be talking more about the financing part but they are all working in sequence at this point so from our point of view as the agency implementing on behalf of the government we have all confidence with all of the things in place that definitely come July, this project will achieve substantial completion in terms of the pavement. So we will now move over to Madam Ruth Coca Collins, the uh, Minister of Public Works, to give us uh, her impression about this project. Uh, let me first of all say thank you, and I want to also say a big thank you to the consultant and the contractor. Uh, when we last visited the project, sir, there was in November. And It was around approximately 50 percent. Today uh, we are at 75 percent. It shows that there has been a lot of progress made in the corridor. And like uh, the consultant and our technician have just said, uh, the cash flow issue has been solved. Uh, when we last visit, uh, we were last visited by uh, one of our partners, the uh, the Sally Fund. They visited uh, us on the project. We visited the project. And since the life, we actually experiencing a good cooperation, showing that the cash is actually, you see, good signal, real life. So with that, 
there are a strong conviction that by July will be the every completion of this project, even though we have asked them to finish by July, but then by July will be the every completion. We can say that because it's, it's, it's cash and we know sometimes it takes some time to come, but up to date, I'm, I'm, I'm actually convinced and I'm actually happy that you know the work have accelerated a very, very fast in a very short period of time. And what I would like to say is the people of Lofa County today, we are in Lofa County sitting on pavement and from the bridge uh, when I just counted how many kilometers is up to three kilometers, three from one kilometer that is already paved. And like uh, Mr. Baker said, we have up to 14 kilometers that is already prepared for pavement. So um, in a very short time, I know we'll be nearing in the, up to uh, 60 kilometers to be paved out of 80. Then, Kilometers, so that's a good thing, and I want to say the people of Lofa County need to be patient. You need to work along with us. That you know we all keep cooperate to have the project finishing. I know it has been so long we have been around, but with this one, I see that we are progressively accelerating to have it finished with full time. The July deadline or that the approximate completion of this project by July, according to. The technician depends on cash flow, cash flow. And, and and from both partners and government. Can you assure that this will have the full cooperation of government so that it meets the deadline? Yes, I can I can actually say that the aspect of cash flow is being settled. We have our four partners that are financing this role and we keep in touch with them. Uh, like I said, there are a lot of green light to show to us that they are in they are in readiness to fund us. When we were just talking about ticket boys, we invite the four of them in country so that we can extend. We are not even thinking about this one anymore. We are thinking about from Salaya now going to Konya. Mm -hmm. That's a session we are thinking about. So we want to invite them in country so they can see the level of work that, was, that is done. Mm -hmm. Because the last time in November, we were here with them. They were really excited to see what we did up to that 50%. To date, we are around 75%. I think that will actually be a boost for us and you know, also that uh, they can be able to and you know, release the funding for the second phase which will take off from uh, Salaye to Konya and that's what we actually uh, thinking about so we'll shortly uh, we'll be sending communication to them to invite them so they can see where we are where they left all and where we are because their thought was if we can push Hala up to 80 percent then of course we can start a negotiation you know, on the next phase, and I think today I'm satisfied to say that we are around 75 percent. That's a good news for us. So they, maybe before the coming country, we will exceed mm -hmm. you know, the, uh, the 80 percent they were talking about. So, so it's actually a good thing for us today to visit the SAM. As I'm excited, and I'll continue doing this because I feel the more you visit the site, the more you get you know, acquainted with what happened in the site, and you get to know the contractor's challenge the consulting challenge and all of these challenges, if we can solve it on the project side, I think that will also help the progress of the, of the project as well. Um, Minister, thanks for talking to LNTV and other members of the press. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Uh, all right, folks, so that's it. My name is Anthony Williams, and we've been doing this brief interview with the Minister of Public Works.